Welcome to the Ichiro portion of the program. Seattle at Chicago, top one. Ichiro with 218 hits on the year. He's going for that record eventually. Leading off against Mark Burley, slaps a single, so he's one for one in the 219. Now at the top of the fourth, Burley, Ichiro again. He's past third, another single. He's two for two. Well, now he's three for three. This is a guy who came in batting five for 16, 313 career against Burley, and Burley goes Ephus on him and says, <laughs> get what the heck. Wide, inside, up, down, it doesn't matter, said Burley afterwards. Ichiro up the middle, 222 hits, he's four for four, and Burley says, brother, I gotta tip my hat, and then against Jeff Bahanaru making his ML debut. Ichiro singles, he goes five for five. Hey, but the White Sox won the game, 8-7, M's fall to 0-5 at the White Sox pad this season. Ichiro five for five. He's now on pace for 268 hits, 11 more than George Sisler's major league record that stood since 1920. The guy's hitting 477 after the All-Star break. That 156-point increase, best in baseball over the last 30 seasons among players with enough at-bats to qualify for a batting title. Broken Hands for Brilliant Minds is the name of a band whose newest disc is Remember the Past, Respect the Future. Kevin Brown's future in doubt after he did not respect the clubhouse wall. Broke his non-pitching hand in a not-so-brilliant move and will undergo surgery Sunday. The injury may pull the plug on the rest of Brown's set. He's silent for at least three weeks. Two members of the Yankees brass band did pipe up. Right now, I'll just say the obvious. We, have a, we don't have a pitcher that we should have. Um, but, you know, we're... Uh... You know, we'll uh, have somebody up here for Wednesday to start now, and um, you know, we'll get after it with with the people that we have that are active, and uh, you know, and that'll start tomorrow. We're hopeful we can get them back in a few weeks. You know, that that's uh, that's the optimistic side, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can we can count on that. Kevin Brown on hand as the Yankees hosted. Oh, the oh, I get it. <laughs> Boston now right on New York's tail. The Yanks struggling to get base hits off Sidney Ponson. Bottom one, gloves in the air. Top play nominee Brian Roberts takes one away from Bernie Williams. Bernie 0 for 4. To the eighth inning we go. Orioles up to Ponson in control. Ruben Sierra swinging. Two batters later, Miguel Cairo. Go join it. Ponson retired 16 of the last 17 Yanks. Said afterwards, he loves feeding off the energy the fans bring to Yankee Stadium. Top nine, two nothing. Mariano Rivera getting some and getting worked. Rafael Palmero is 15th. Rivera had not allowed a run in his last 14 appearances. More trouble for Rivera. Bases loaded. Larry Bigby singles. It's four nothing. Joe Torre decides it's not Mo's night. Pulls him for Brett Prince. And his first pitch to Brian Roberts, Wang Dang Doodle. Three run shot, seven nothing birds. Ponson face just 29 batters in the two hit shutout. They lead seven nothing. So the Red Sox with a chance to pull within a game and a half, hosting Texas, looking for their 11th straight win. But the Rangers led 5-1 in the seventh. Michael Young, it's 8-1 Texas as Tim Wakefield allowed eight runs on eight hits and six. But in the home half of the seventh, the Red Sox load them up for Mark Bellhorn hits it wicked hard. Deep far up and good. Red Sox right back in and it's 8-5. Bellhorn's second career grand slam later in the inning. David Ortiz back from injury is 34th. They're closing the gap. It's an 8-6 game. And don't do that again. Yeah. Ninth <laughs> inning. Please. Red Sox tying run at the plate. It's that Bellhorn guy again to second. Alfonso Soriano turns the double play. Or does he, Terry Francona? Soriano, does he get a glove on the runner? Uh-oh, we got a little Chuck Knobloch, Jose Offerman scenario again. Rangers win 8-6. They snap Boston's. 10-game winning streak, but the Yankees lost, so it's all good. Here's the AL East. First time that the Yankees and the Red Sox lost on the same day since August 15th. Sunday, New York goes with Javier Vasquez as they try to avoid a three-game sweep against Baltimore. Remember, Vasquez lost his job in the rotation. He was the starter in that Tuesday 22-0 debacle against the Tribe. Meanwhile, the Red Sox have 17-game winner Kurt Schilling, the big shill, 9-1 at Fenway this season. Barry Bonds sitting on 697 career home runs after Homer and Friday night. Bottom six, Bonds singles to left. No home runs Saturday. Barry two for three with a single double and a base on balls. Giants would load the bases, though. Here's Marquise Grissom facing Stephen Randolph. And Grissom, his 19th home run of the year, his fourth career grand slam. It's now 7-5 as Randolph gave him five straight hits in the inning. Tied in the eighth. Barry on deck. Davy Cruz 
got a pitch to Cruz, and this is what happens. J.T. Snow scores. Dustin Moore scores. Cruz gets thrown out at second to the Giants. Down 7-1 to the D-backs. Come back and win it 9-7. to San Fran now only a half game back of the wild card. San Diego hoping to get that wild card invite. Hosting Colorado. Tony Gwynn's number 19 retired during pregame. As it should be. Now during the game, bottom six, seven two, Sean Estes, Rich Aurelia. Royce Clayton Glove is a many splendored thing. Top play nominee. Top seven. That was Skinner, wasn't it? <laughs> Todd Helton, his 29th. JD Closer hit his first major league home run in this game. Rockies win this game. 8 2, your final. Astros looking for their eighth straight win, hosting Pittsburgh. 5-5 in the seventh. Mike Lamb to right center. Could be gone. It stays in the yard off the wall. Jeff Bagwell scores. Lamb gets a double, and the Astros have a 6-5 lead. Top eight time, Wigginton. Singles to left. Craig Biggio. Craig Wilson to third. Jose Vizcaino throws Wigginton out at second, though. And instead of second and third, one out, it's runner on third, two outs, and Russ Springer gets Bobby Hill to get out of it. The Astros win 6-5. They extend their season-high winning streak to eight games. And they've won 16 of 19 now. They're on fire. <laughs> Update a National League wildcard race. Cubs and Marlins idle Saturday. They'll be off Sunday as well. The Sunday game of that series in Miami postponed, making the entire three-game series a washout thanks to the hurricane. There's a chance one of the postponed games will be made up in Chicago, meaning the Marlins would give up a home game, but would be allowed to bat last. They are still working out. Cardinals are 90 and 44. They've won seven straight, hosting the Dodgers. No score. Jim Edmonds. Bartender. Got it. Jack. Career home run number 300 comes off Kaz's Shee. 40th of the season, seventh in his last seven games, and if you hit 300, you better come make a curtain call. Also got a call from Mark McGuire. Bottom six, still do nothing, just that one hit. Scott Rowland, bloop single over the head of Alex Cora. Tony Womack scores. Cardinals had two hits in this game. So did they win it, though? Faces loaded. Robin Ventura, the active Grand Slam. King can't get it done. Jason Marquis wins his 11th straight decision. Cards win 5-1 with just two base hits. Minnesota hosting Kansas City. Twins have not allowed a run in their last 24 innings, and well, they're now up three runs in the first well, inning off that. Justin Morneau off rookie Mike Wood, his 17th. Wood shut down Minnesota after that. And right after this, he's off the hook. J.C. Romero with the wild pitch in the top of the eighth. Angel Barroa scores, and this ball game is tied. Bottom nine, September call-up. Tim Tippy unties the game. Here's a swing and a drive. Left field, way back, way back. Hey, touch him all, Terry Tippy. A game-winning home run. And the Twins Tippy's first Major League home run is a walk-off, playing for the injured Corey Koski. 4-3. Twins. And the Twins beat the Oakland up four games in the AL West at Toronto. Top three. Jays up one. Runner on second for Mark Kotze. Chopper. Bobby Crosby gets in a pickle, ickle, ickle. Oh, those are bad. And he's tagged out. Then Kotze tries to advance a second, and Carlos Delgado tags him out. Bad base running. Top nine. Eric Burns. One run game. Bases loaded. And Burns drives it to left, and the ball is over the head of Johnson, who broke in on the ball. Oh, my goodness. The whole world has just scored. Well, the A's win 9-5, 16th win in the last 18 games. All right, Angels in Cleveland. Indians catcher Victor Martinez battling the bugs. Unseasonably humid weather, bringing out the bugs. Troy Gloss having his issues. Gloss said after, after the game about the bugs, there were too many to kill. It was disgusting, atrocious. There were millions of them everywhere. Kids swatting the nets in the net. <laughs> These guys can't watch the game. Oh, what a mess. But the Angels somehow prevailed despite all the bugs in Cleveland, and they end up with the 6-1 win. Bugs were just all over everybody. Gloss finally gets that worked out and was able to get a bat on the ball. But it, Careful now. Gloss had to leave the game, but he does expect to play on Sunday after that. The American League Wild Card. Angels and Rangers both pick up a game on Boston. Anaheim now only three and a half back as they conclude their series with the Tribe. That's Sunday night on ESPN2.